the most desired of all, the fabulous Jane Mansfield. Hi everyone, it's Erlene of Erlene Garcia Art, and I designed this totally awesome tea dyed envelope art journal, and I'm excited to show you, so let's get started. The outside, it stays closed with this elastic ribbon that I purchased at Hobby Lobby, and it actually looks like that on the other side, but I like that 1950s, 60s colored turquoise, and because it was a little bit bright, I took my Tim Holtz Distress Ink and I just rubbed it on there with a makeup sponge. I also used his ink to distress the whole journal. And throughout the journal, we have Austrian Crystal. So let's take this off. And it's probably about 12 inches. And then I tied two extra little ribbons on it just for a little bit extra pizzazz. And then I have three ribbons here, gray, tan, with a little bit of gold sparkle. I tied those around into the inside, and some pieces are hanging down here at the bottom. Because I had so much going on up here, I wanted a little spruce down there and a little spruce on the sides. So let's see what the cover looks like. I used Swarovski Crystal. And I just thought for this album, it would be just totally fabulous. And I glued it on there with just a basic glue stick that I purchased at the 99 cent store. And I have done this process many times and they do stick on. I distressed the edge of the envelopes. And of course I used her beautiful image with her very handsome muscle bound husband. And then the most desired of all came out of my favorite pad here, Simple Stories, I Am. I like their paper because it um, has a lot of cool 50, 60 colors. And that's what I like when I make my movie star journals. So let's open it. I mean, you can hear my dogs having a fit out there, but that's okay. This won't take that long. So on the inside, I used more purple crystal washi tape. I stamped this image here so someone could journal there and down here and stamped be happy and then we have a tag here that I colorized her hair with the Tim Holtz ink. Put washi tape there and there and there's a little paragraph about her and this was a little piece of article that I salvaged and I glued it on the tag and then I put the index cards I purchased at the 99 cent store. There was four colors in there, which I need to age this, I just realized. And then on the inside pocket here, I have a beautiful image of her from a movie poster. And then I have a young picture of her here. And there she looks like her daughter, Mariska, who I love also. Here's some silver sparkly washi tape. I Since I used a smaller page here, I punched a hole and I used a whole reinforcer punch. And it is this, We Are by Memory Makers. And I tied yellow ribbon on the inside of the hole. Ooh, look at that page. I, I don't know if you can see the leopard, but I have leopard going on. So on the second page, I used this image of her, colorized her hair, added some red crystal earrings, washi tape, more index cards, and these were just little scrap ribbons. I thought, why not just staple it on there? We don't need to be filling up the garbage with all kinds of stuff and we can recycle them. Wow, look at this my favorite page in the whole journal. I think everybody is very familiar with this. She was the first woman, well, that was famous, to have a wardrobe malfunction. So I just used a little miniature flower punch and covered up her self, <laughs> her girl parts. And then I put purple crystals and then I put silver for her earrings and two different types of yellow in her hair because hair does have dimensions. So 
I thought that would be a nice play on the lights. And this little part I took out of like some 1950s magazine that I tore up. And I didn't know I was saving it for the perfect picture. So the ladylike dress. And then I backed it on black cardstock. And there's a piece of scrapbook paper that I glued her and Sophia Loren on. And I used the little one millimeter crystal for her earrings. And that's also glued on with the stick glue. And this is the envelope uh, lid or whatever you want to call it, flap. And I put notebook paper, colorized it, stamped it, and laugh until it hurts because, you know, that's what we can do is somebody just doing a cute publicity stunt. You know, it's all in good fun. So I thought that would be perfect. And this, I think I got that at Hobby Lobby. So there's more journaling space there. And this paper, the little index card, I was putting behind different pictures. And I just like the way that it ended up because I was, when I was staining each of the pictures... So let's turn the page, another glamour shot, more green Austrian crystal. I use markers that I've had for a long time and I colored her lips and her dress and then used the Tim Holtz dye on her dress, stamped, oh happy day, more washi tape, be lovely up there and Let's see what is next. Another glamour photo. And I enhanced her little costume there with black crystal. And the little flowers and leaves, I added crystal. Let's see if you can see that. And more journaling space, more journaling space, washi tape, stamped have fun, more crystal. And then another playbill. And then a famous photo there of her in the tub reading a book. And then more journal space. I liked all oh, this bright, happy ribbon. And that I just purchased at Michael's for 27 cents. There was only probably less than a yard on there. But I knew it would be perfect for something. And then I used some photo corners by recollection and colorized her dress. And there she is with her, uh, her date. Colorized her hair. Let's stick that in there. Good size pocket. The next page is, oh, this is the ribbon from right here. I just tied around and I colorized her little risque beaded outfit. More index cards, crystal. Be stylish because I thought she was very stylish in that picture. And then another large pocket there. Washi tape. That's really cool. I love that sparkly washi tape. It just makes it every time. Little scraps of paper. I just happened to fit right there for just journaling. And then on her card here, I enhanced her dress with some more crystal and then again on my little handmade tag I just put that little washer there the whole reinforcer um, from scrapbook paper and I don't know if you can see through this but the, on the washi tape I left it at the edge there where you could see through it on both sides be stylish and that's just notebook paper there and then some bright ribbon and this one came from Michael's as well. It looks like that uh, photo paper. And let's turn the page here, be fancy. Oh, I love this page too. I just love all these colors. The ink really complements all of my black and white pictures. Um, I've used kind of like a leafy green crystal here and colorized her dress with the Tim Holtz green uh, dye, I mean, sorry, the Distress ink, and the yellow tone for her hair, um, the lighter one at the bottom. 
stamp be lovely be true be awesome and then more green crystals along the age the side i just i just love this one the way i aged it really really cool she's so photogenic and this one i found this at michael's in the sale bin also the sequins 27 cents and I thought it would be perfect for her ocean photos. Live, love, laugh. And she's just so happy there. And that's what I like to show, you know, happy pictures of these starlets that I'm using in these journals. Um, I've also purchased the washi tape. They had it in another bin, three for a dollar. And I like that it looked like that 1960s orange. That one was not three for a dollar. That was a little bit more like, no, this one is probably, I think like three or four dollars for that roll and another stamp, Be Courageous and some more Austrian crystal, the color of the sun. Let's see if you can see that in the light. And then I just, again, stapled those sequins on this tag and enhanced her swimsuit with more red Austrian crystal. And this ribbon I also got in the sale bin at Michael's. This one, 27 cents. This one was 27 cents. And this one, I don't know where I got that. Don't tell anybody. And then on the back, I wrote, be courageous or stamped it in more notebook paper. And of course, on all of my handmade tags, I punch out that little circle at the top just for that finished look. And then we're getting to this page, and it's all about Jane Mansfield and all of her accomplishments. And I added earrings. I tinted her dress and her hair. And then I punched another hole there. I like the way that looks, and I'm going to do that on some of my other journals that I have coming up. My Audrey Hepburn one. And then added black, blackish gray crystal to the corners, Tim Holtz paper. I don't know if you can see that I wrote notes right there. So you can journal here, and this is that pad that I purchased at the 99 cent store. So let's turn the page. <clears throat> and on this last page, I had a little piece here, and I just stapled it on with pink staples, yellow crystals, colorized her hair, this is legal paper. And then um, this was from one of the articles, so I saved it and mounted it with a black background so it kind of stands out more. Staples here to reinforce, more washi tape, a little bit of journaling space, and then this beautiful tag. Actually, in the book, it, she was laying down and I think she was topless, but I thought, um, even though it was such a beautiful image, it wouldn't all fit on the tag that I made. So I saved, you know, of course, her face and used markers to color her lips and the Tim Holtz Distress ink to color her face, her skin, and her eyeshadow and her beautiful blonde hair. Some more happy ribbon there, washi tape, journaling space on the back. And I purposely did it uneven because we don't want anything to be too perfect, do we? I think it adds more. And then she believed she could, so she did. And this stamp I purchased at um, Hobby Lobby. I'm almost positive. If not, then where did... Oh, either Hobby Lobby or Paper Source. I'm going to have to look and see... And then more journaling space behind there. And then as we come to the end of the book, I put more washi tape on the back of the film strip and I stamped my name. And I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did sharing it with you. And don't be afraid to use the Austrian crystals because as you can see, it really does make a difference and it adds a lot of glamour whenever you're doing something featuring such a beautiful movie star like Jane Mansfield. Okay, that's it. You guys have a happy day. 
and be sure and catch my next video featuring Audrey Hepburn. Okay, thanks. Bye.